Hey guys, welcome back to Sapper Steel Forge, and uh, we're back back in it again this week. This week we're working on a Celtic ring knife. Now, uh, these are similar in, in theory to like the blacksmith's knives, in that there's no woodworking, it's a very simple design, it's just one piece of metal and you hammer the whole thing out. Uh, it's not very, it's not decorative in the slightest. You could decorate it, but it, the original was, it's a very utilitarian piece. It's just a straight blade and then a handle with a little ring on the end that served like a pommel. And it just, you take it, wrap that around and voila, you can wrap a little leather on there or something and off you go. It's made to be tough. Uh, nice thick spine on there. It was your everyday do everything to them. It's the original multi-tool, the knife. And, you know, you wanted to split a little bit of kindling for your firewood for, for camp? Knife. You need to dig up a root, you know, some, some onions or something. Knife. Skin a deer. Knife. Fight an opponent. Knife. Everything. So, that's what we're going to work on. We're just going to go through the whole process. This is going to be a start to finish video. We haven't done one of those in a little bit. And, uh, yeah, so, I mean, it's, it's pretty, like I said, it's very simple, so we're going to use a, a good a thick steel. I've got a, a piece of leaf spring, some 5160 out there in the forge right now, and uh, doing a little, a few other things here and there, working on some projects, and uh, we're just busy, busy, busy. <laughs> guys so that's uh, that's gonna handle the rough forging uh, I can't guess it's pretty warm out here today although that breeze <laughs> that breeze is just now starting now that I'm done and it feels real good all right so we got the handle and uh, you know it's set to about my hand size uh, guys so he's got medium hands I got pretty medium hands so uh, the ring itself 
I've seen fans here. I've seen like a, a full-on ring you can stick your finger through and all. I think, I think for me, uh, a more classic, more historical sort of thing would be a, a very crude ring that was just there to act as a pommel, as a counterweight, kind of hold your hand in, like, like a hand stop. Uh, when you combine that with the leather wrap, it was meant to just, you know, sit in your hand comfortably. Uh, the first one I made, I made it exactly to my hand, and that's how I made it. it it's comfortable. It's a really good utilitarian knife, so that's what I do. There are, there are other ways to go about it. I've seen some where they, they make these really, like, stick-thin tangs and these big loops. And, like, yeah, that's pretty, but, you know, you go hacking on something with that thing... Something bad's gonna happen. But that's neither here nor there. That's just me explaining the way I do it and why. Uh, I know it, it, the point looks different. That's because the guy asked for a clip point. Now, I didn't forge out completely the clip point. I, I like to bring it out a bit and then I'll go and refine it on the grinder. So uh, it's in the forge. It's gonna get heated up and then it'll anneal for the rest of today. I got some other projects. I'm gonna start another video after lunch. I know it's a little early for lunch, but uh, it's hot out here. So I'm gonna go inside for a bit. All right guys, so this thing's annealed and uh, that is thick. Handle's already pretty decent. Uh, it's a great thing about these sorts of things. You can forge it out and it's, uh, yeah, that handle pretty well fits. You know, we'll, we'll do the profiling and uh, make it look more like a clip point and less like a set of fish lips. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this ain't gonna take all that long. Uh, the main thing being that you, you really want the spine on this to, to stay pretty darn thick. This was meant for just everything. Just, just hacking through stuff and, uh, you know, like I said, digging. You, when to dig your potatoes or dig out tubers or dig out onions but he, you, you used your knife because that's what they had day but we did get this thing ground out that looks pretty awesome huh got that little false tip on there to give it that classic clip point look handle feels nice and comfortable this is gonna be a real good knife 
So, uh, yeah, uh, today, I mean, these things are, are super simple. So what we're going to do is uh, we need to stamp it, we need to heat treat it, and then uh, sharpen it and do the little leather wrap. <laughs> because I haven't taken it to the wire wheel. So that's going to be the first thing we do, is we're just going to take it over here to the wire wheel and knock some of this here uh, forge scale off it and get that nice forge gray look. And then it's straight on to the grinder and get a nice edge on here. And then we're going to do the leather wrap, and that's going to be that. I love the feel of these things. Let's get it going. All right, so that didn't take long. Looks a lot better now. A little more gray. Uh, a lot of roughness to it. You know, uh, it's it's that, that really old world, early Iron Age look to it. That's what we, we're shooting for. It's, it's a beast of a blade. It's not, you know, really long. It's just meant for everyday stuff. So you can tell that, that's got a nice thick spine on it, even for a, a clip point and a... I think the customer is going to really like how uh, how tough it is. So now we're just going to take it over to the grinder and uh, we got some work to do on getting this thing sharpened up. We're just kicking right along. So, uh, yeah, we've got this almost sharp. Uh, I ran it all the way up through 150. Got a pretty decent little edge on there. Now, it's not sharp sharp yet. Always want to save that to the last thing. Because uh, if I go messing with it after I sharpen it, I'll probably cut myself. So now what we're going to do is just take a piece of this leather here and... Uh, Go ahead and start our wrap. So this is a real simple thing. So we're just gonna tie a simple knot at the top. Now. Alright, so once we we do a simple little knot, show you, and then uh, add a little epoxy just to hold the knot there. And we're just going to start to wrap, and every so often we'll add just a little bit of epoxy to the handle. And, 
like I said, I keep an epoxy down here. I don't, I advertise when they pay me to advertise. <laughs> I will say, uh, this particular brand I'm really happy with, and, uh, you know, if, if I could figure out how to reach out to them and offer an advertisement deal, I certainly would. I, I would absolutely say they're, they're wonderful. Um, I've been using a different brand than my usual. It was a bit cheaper, and I was concerned, of course, that, you know, cheaper, but uh, turns out I've been happier with them than the, the slightly more expensive brand. The more expensive brand seems to be very um, touchy when it comes to the weather. Like, the humidity just really prevents it from setting up like it's supposed to. And this cheaper stuff doesn't seem to have that problem. I, it says five minutes, but I got to, it, it means you got five minutes. And, and that's it, guys. That's, that's it. Uh, five minutes from now, that, that'll set up. We'll trim off that little, uh, that little nub there. And, and that's going to be it. That is actually a very comfortable grip. You wouldn't think so just being metal wrapped in, in some, some leather, but it, it fits in the hand nicely. Your hand don't go nowhere. It grips you. And, and that ring there just really keeps it from coming out your hand. And it makes it easy to, to work with. We added a little bit of a flatter grind at the top, like you would expect to see in a clip point, which, you know, of course, more modern than... Then this thing, that's fine. We, we'll mix and match. And uh, the reason you do a little bit of flatter grind on a clip point at the top is for close-up work. You know, you're trying to get in there and skin your deer or a gut of fish or whatever. And, uh, that, yep, that's going to be the size of it. So, guys, that's uh, that's it for this one here. I appreciate all of y'all. Uh, you know, check out the shop. Check out the show. we doing all sorts of stuff. Doing a series I don't know how it's all going to... I haven't planned out how I'm going to put them out, but there is going to be a little bit of a series on some D&D &D products uh, that, that people like. So a couple of ones. Uh, I did a, a little miniature uh, shield. I don't know if I'm going to put that on there or not. We'll see. Anyways, uh, appreciate y'all, and y'all take care. <laughs>